Finding alternatives for a world that's heavily reliant on fossil fuels for manufacturing plastics is an immense challenge. There's not one switch, but a whole series of them. At Dow, we are committed to playing our part in helping to make those changes. As part of that process, we're introducing different sources of our raw material for plastics, feedstocks, into our production processes. We make naphtha from our feedstocks, and this goes on to make plastics. By measuring how much naphtha from sources like bio-based feedstocks, or feedstocks made from plastic waste, which is also known as circular, we know exactly how much of our product can be defined and sold as bio-based or circular. That percentage is certified by an independent body, the International Sustainability and Carbon Certification. The technical term for this is a mass balance approach. Other industries use their own similar types of models to encourage use of sustainable systems. Energy companies sell renewable energy to customers, but not every electron going into that household is from a renewable source. The cost of building an alternative energy infrastructure just for renewables would be huge. So the energy provided comes from a mix of renewable and non-renewable sources. For our industry, using a mass balance approach means we avoid the need to create separate production processes that would raise the environmental impact. This approach also encourages producers to use more bio-based or circular naphtha as the global supply increases. It also encourages brand owners to incorporate this groundbreaking approach into their product lines. At Dow, we're already pioneering new ways of creating plastics, partnering with companies like Crocs, so we can lead the charge to set this standard. As demand for these plastics rise, the percentage of bio-based and circular naphtha going into our production lines will increase too. We recognise our role in helping us make that switch to a more sustainable future.